Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are looking at the first in a very, very long anticipated line for myself mainly of the Transformers Wreck and Rule line. We're finally getting our record team! Yay! Yay! And here we have the Spartan leader of the Wreckers. Um, oh god, why? Impactor! There's his name. Totally didn't forget him. And you get up, Spindle. You get up and you stay up. Yeah, unfortunately Spindle's a little back heavy considering half of the dino head is on his head. But you know, we'll talk about that in a second. So, you know what? You know what? Just to get this out of the way, we're going to quickly do Spindle first. So, Impactor, you being the star of the show, can sit over here, my friend. So, here we have Spindle, who is a remold, a very slight, very, very slight remold of the, um, ooh, tried something, the... This mold here for uh, that they also use for transmutate. Uh, actually, having transmutate out now actually kind of works. Ooh. And yeah, that's one thing. Unfortunately, on my copy, it seems like the um, the mushroom pegs holding these uh, the hand feet uh, together. Unfortunately, it looks like on my copy specifically. It um it's a little loose, so I'm probably gonna have to use uh some super glue just to tighten it up a wee bit. Just enough so it doesn't keep popping out because like even a like just a, a little tap knocks them out. So something to watch out for if you guys are gonna get it. Um But yeah. So that that's really my only issue with uh this guy that I've seen right now. I've only had him for not even like barely an hour. Um, but I, I still love it. I love the colors, the purple and the gold. The, it just, it looks so nice. And in my own little twisted head cannon, I'd feel like all these, um, all of the, um, the fossilizers, they're all kind of shockwave experiments. So I have Transmutate, who's just the, you know, the first, the first try at it, and that's why she's her, but we love her. We love her. I'll just take you off to the side for a second, hon. I love you. Please don't die. Um, and then you have, you know, Spindle here, who's in my, like, mini head cannon shockwave was able to capture uh lead foot and impactor uh and was able to get more rna from impactor than lead foot which is why spindle here has his colors and does anyone else think it's a really cool and b really dumb <laughs> that we have a bony dinosaur that's purple and gold like don't get me wrong this is awesome <laughs> But the purple's a little weird. Not gonna lie. Just a wee bit. Stand up. Jesus. That's another thing. He has a couple of balance issues. Um, and actually, I'm not sure if Spindle's a he or a she. Because a lot of the other um, fossilizers, I think they're female. I think some of the other fossilizer, fossilizers, fossilizers are female. So I'm, I'm not sure if... Spindles are he or she. Um, comment down below if um, if you know or not. Um, I may do a really quick update in like two minutes after the video goes up. Um, as just a, oh, hey, guess who's an idiot? <laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah, so the like I was saying, the these are getting a little annoying. Just, just a wee bit, just a wee bit annoying, but, but it's still a really good figure. Mother of God, you really do not like to pop on. Jeez Louise. Um, so yeah, he's just a really nice looking figure and 
for the uh, <laughs> the head chest here. Um, I don't know if anybody else sees it, but um, this is Doomsday's head. This is Doomsday's face from uh, the the Justice League. Like this guy has the face of Doomsday, so. I'm glad they didn't add a wee bit of green, because that'd be a little terrifying. <laughs> oh, hey, great. Spindle has not just a face of Superman's greatest enemy. Um, he also has kryptonite in him. Everybody run and hide. But yeah, so that is really it for Spindle. He's just a, um, a slight remold of um, the transmutate and whatever the other guy's name was, because uh, I forget... Um, but, uh, another small problem I have, the head, like the, the dino head just kind of sticks right out. I kind of wish it could fold back. I kind of wish it could do that because like, I, I'm sorry, this just looks kind of silly. He has half a Spinosaurus head just sticking off of his head and the other half is just down here, but it works for when I do a combined mode. So you know what? Like, there, there's there's stuff I wish they could have done, but I'm also just really happy to have this guy in hand because I've been waiting for it for so long. So, yeah, that is it for Spindle. Give me two seconds, and let me grab the real star of the show. Impactor! And this guy is bloody beautiful. Like, from the colors down to the articulation and yes it is a slight um i think this is just a really slight remold of the siege impactor and you know what i never got that figure so i'm so happy to have this guy in my collection like the chest is nice and smooth the cannon looks beautiful and that head is just menacing as all get out um the one stay uh, I do have a slight problem with the fact that the hands don't turn, but you know what? Because you can flip them around and give him his signature hook, I I am cool with the omission of the turny turny hands because hook hook. The man's got a stabby stabby hook. But in terms of articulation, arms can go straight sideways. The man can T pose. And suck it, Magnus. Uh, I cannot believe that's become like my thing. It's just <laughs> the T pose of doom. But yeah, so he comes with, like I said, the um, the harpoon hand here, which also doubles as a laser blaster. You can uh, kind of see they molded it in as not just a uh, not just a really nice harpoon. No, you can also shoot stuff with it. Um, and he also comes with this gun here, which is actually, it's nice. And I know what, like, cause this becomes the, uh, the tank barrel and gun in, uh, about to say gun mode and, um, <laughs> in tank mode. So I understand it has to be a little plain, but it, it's, it's a little too plain for me. Like with the Megatron cannon, like. You get that whole, like, and I, I understand two totally different, um, styles and, like, two totally different tanks. Um, but yeah. I just, it's, it, it doesn't look nice as a blaster to me. I know some of that, that may be sacler, sac sacrilege, sacrilege, sacrilege to some. But to me, it's, you know, just, it's, it's how I do. It's just how I do, and it, nobody can tell me differently. But yeah, so that is... Oh, right. <laughs> I completely forgot. So, uh, knees can do a really good 90. And you get full straight out from the legs. Full forward on the legs. And the feet, because the transformation, can only go out that far. But they can, like, you can kind of break his heel. <laughs> We'd be like, my heel. Darn it. But for comparison, here he is with the second in command of the Wreckers. Oh, come on. Ugh. 
There we go. And there we go. Here we have... Oh my god. I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank. Oh my god. Uh, Springer, why? Why was I drawing a blank on Springer? Here we have the second in command of the wrecker, Springer. Up until this guy bites it. Which he always does. Please don't bite it, buddy. Yeah. So, here we have that. Uh, and actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna leave Springer out. I'm going to bring in... Because I'd like to have a very quick Wrecker reunion. So, with, you know, some of the ones that I kind of have. Because uh, they've, they've, you know, they're going to release Springer in toy color. So, that'll be really cool to have. Here's Bulkhead, which will be coming in tomorrow. So, expect either Bulkhead or um, Twin Twist uh, as a review tomorrow. And here we have Vortex. Um, Whirl. I was about to call him Vortex for a second there. Uh, Whirl, who is just a, um, he is the, uh, the third party mastermind creations, uh, take on IDW Whirl. So, um, you know, not, not official Whirl, but, you know, he's my IDW Whirl. And I love him. So, there's that. And now, give me a couple of seconds, guys, and I will have these, both of these wonderful dino peoples, oh. one of these, both of these wonderful purple people eaters, well, one of these is a giant, uh, a giant purple people eater, in a couple of seconds, we'll have them in vehicle dino. So, see you then. And we're back, and might I say, these both look really, really good in their alt modes. Um, but once again, starting off with Spindle, or Spinderella, because, I, I don't know, it's funny, I guess. Mm -hmm. Wordplay. <laughs> Wordplay. Sorry. Um, yeah, no, this is a real... I have always been a fan of the Spinosaurus. Even if this makes it look like a deranged chicken. This, this is not mighty. This is, yeah. No, that's, uh, I gotta, yeah, yeah, nope. There we, there we go. There, there, no. Stop falling apart on me, Spindle, why? There we go. Okay. Slightly Better ish, kinda, sorta, maybe. I, I don't know. This guy is. Dino mode is, like, it's really nice, but it's also a bit like it shows off more of his flaws because you're now relying on the weak ankles to hold him up. Um, and something I actually forgot to mention in um robot mode is their wreckers insignia. His insignia is on what would become his shin, which is, to me, is kind of silly because I feel like having it, like, right... I, I always like having the badge, like, up front and center. That way it's like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I am this guy. I am a part of this team, and that's it. Like, and I'm proud to wear it. Those who put it, like... If you have it somewhere else, like, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm fine with it. It's just I prefer having my badges up front and center and wear worn with pride. This just looks like he um, he was ashamed and was just like, yeah, great, I got into the records. Um, yeah, put my insignia on my shin, please. I, I, don't, I don't want anybody to see it. If I wear long pants, no one can tell I'm a wrecker. Yeah, definitely. Um, but for the mouth, like, you get this really nice opening jaw. Like, this guy can, br like, this guy breaks his friggin' jaw in half with the powerful roar. And then you see a little robot head and goes, hi, how you doing? Hmm. And you actually get the teeth, which is really nice. The teeth are all picked out in silver. 
Unfortunately, it's only for the top ones, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. Painted teeth are awesome. Something I... Um, so quite honestly, like, if you get this and you're a little disappointed by only the top teeth being painted what uh silver just take some uh like i have some silver paint here and quite honestly if i want to i'll just uh paint these up real quick but um yeah so for comparison here is with transmutate in her dyna mode and again the only problem is just the head in my opinion and just the weak ass ankles um I really wish that the head was separate, kind of like how they have the T-Rex head here. Because, like, th this to me makes sense. Like, it's it's logical, and if you don't like having the head there, you can just take the head off. Because, like, for me, the transmutate head does not work in dino mode. So while it is kind of silly that it just cuts off here, it also kind of makes sense because it's a skeleton, you know? It's not meant to have smooth lines like uh, like it was covered in skin. It's meant to just be bone. Um, but that that's just my little rant. Uh, also, her teeth, all of her teeth get painted. You have no excuse, Bindle. No excuse. Um. Yeah. Uh, another really cool thing is the arms. The they actually extended the Spinosaurus arms to be like what they're supposed to be the length that they're supposed to be instead of these ador instead of having two adorable little two toed um or two digit hands that can't do jack all. You have these three digit swipers that can destroy a car in one swipe if you know the articulation worked. <laughs> Um, speaking of articulation, sorry, transmute it just off to the side. You know, I'll put you here. Sorry, girl. I do love, I still love you. Please don't die. Transmutate hurt. I just hurt myself making that joke. Ah, my heart. <laughs> Why did I remind myself of that episode? God damn it. <clears throat> um, so yeah, for articulation, you have a swivel here at the, uh, I guess the, technically the dino waist. You can, you can just kind of go, hello, hello, duck walk. You know, if the legs will stay together, my God. St all right, I do. I it's official. Dinosaur bad, bad dino, bad bad dino. Um, yeah. So you get the swivel here. You get the same amount of articulation here at the uh, the legs. Actually, a little bit more so because technically now they're digitigrade. So you now have the uh, the ankle joint here, um, and then you have what is technically the knee. So you have the the conjoined knee there. And then you also have the up and uh, kind of side to side swivel of the uh, of the tail. And like I showed off in the beginning, giant roar! Oh, I've been I'm trapped and I can't get out. Hum. Oh yeah, that's another thing. You can kind of make him do a derp. He is now the derp spino. He is derp spino. We love derp spino. No matter how derpy he gets, he is still amazing. Oh, and that there there goes his dung gone chest. That there's a chest that done gone gone for a while. Wow. Yeah. All right, so that is it for. Sp I yeah I, I forget his name. Spindle. Haha. <laughs> I remembered. That's it for Spinder. So Spindle, Spinder. <laughs> I was getting him confused with um Swindle. So. That's it for this dino. Now let's take a look at the main tank. The main man in a tank. Main tank. So like I said in uh, in robot mode, the gun actually works in like as the tank barrel in tank mode, which it's bloody supposed to. So that I like. I just kind of wish it showed a wee bit more during um, like just as being a uh, a robot. 
uh, mode gun. But you know what? I, I can't be too mad at it mad at it because it looks so well integrated in the vehicle mode like th this just looks amazing um and if i know where where did i put the i feel a little bit i seem to have lost his uh his harpoon oh no that is scary because impacta kind of needs his harpoon if he's going to be Impactor! Well, oh, found it! Found my tripod. <laughs> Whoopsie doodles. So, you can either put the, um, the harpoon here. And you know what? That, actually, that doesn't look too bad, actually. It, it kind of looks like he has just an extra bit of, uh, protection in the back. You can put it on top of the, I guess, the shoulder cannon? I, uh, what, what is this? Is this supposed to be a scanner or something? Is this just another cannon? On the tank, like in in the de design phase, <laughs> they're just like, no, 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 he has one cannon. That's cool. But let's give him another cannon that, for no other reason other than two cannons are cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So you got the you can do the tank thing, which is a spinny spinny tank. And technically, he can kind of look up at the base, but you, you undo the transformation a wee bit. Uh, yeah, so you just kind of hold everything around. And then you can also just kind of lift it right up here. So, you know, there, there are ways to lift it up if you like or if you don't like. Um, and then... just you, you still have that really nice kind of mustard yellowy gold going uh in around here and you also have i just realized there's also two other side guns here so this this man be decked out in weaponry which makes sense because he's the leader of the wreckers until he eventually dies and that passes along to springer and which case springer gets traumatized because why why can't the wreckers ever just be I know their whole thing is that they're, you know, super the super elite team that um, goes in when no one else can get the job done. But also, give my boys some peace and happiness, gosh darn it. I would like to see a Wreckers comic, and I haven't read any of the new ones from IDW, so A, no spoilers. B, don't tell me I'm wrong. Or... Actually, you know what? Tell me I'm wrong, and, like, nicely, please. Um, but, you know, tell me if I'm wrong, and they make the Wreckers a wee bit more happy-go-lucky in the, uh, in G2, um, IDW. Because I'd, I'd love to know. Um, but, uh, in G1 IDW, oh boy, they, 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 they didn't catch a break. They did not catch a break at all, and my god, I feel so bad for, like, all of the wreckers in that comic. And I ha I have heard stories of, wreck of the wreckers. Like, I I've heard the horror stories for uh, the wrecker trilogy, um, and I'm working on buying all of the, uh, the IDW comics. So I'm coming up to the uh, the volume that has the beginning of the Wreckers stuff. So I'm going to probably start crying by the end of the year. Um, so yeah, not, not, not looking forward to, to feeling all the emotions of, uh, of seeing the Wreckers get uh, emotionally eviscerated. But, on the flip side, comparison-wise, here he is with the roly-poly tank. Or, not roly-poly tank, but the, uh, the rolling Autobot Springer, who's a badass. And, yes, I still have the, um, uh, the missile pods. Because I really like, I just, I didn't have the, um, normally I have the, uh, the little auto cannon on top here. But I, I just, I couldn't find it in time for the review so i was like screw it we're doing it without yeah you can kind of like this just looks really cool like you you can kind of see 
where utilitarian meets style here in the two leaderships. Like, you have the rough and tumble tank, and then you have a very futuristic style sport, or not sport, but like powerful utility vehicle that can also become a jet, or a, not a jet, a, a helicopter. So it's it's really cool to see like even their alt modes kind of differentiate their leadership styles. Um because from what I remember in terms of like some of the IDW stuff, Impactor here was the the kind of leader that would just say, We're going to charge the front lines and that's it, and that is it. Springer with both a fast car mode and a Decently fast helicopter mode probably takes a little bit more time to suss everything out and plan everything. Again, um, I only just kind of started with some of the IDW stuff, so if I'm wrong in terms of uh, Impactor's leadership style, then please let me know in the comments. Um, learning about all this is really interesting and fascinating to me. Um, but yeah, so that is it for the comparison there. Um, and yeah, uh, you can also see in the back here, I'm just going to move Impactor up to the side here. This is another thing that came into the box. They are making it so that it, once you collect all of them, you can make this thing called the Wrecker Hammer. Um, I didn't know the Wreckers had a hammer. I did not know that. If that was something that they're doing just for this set then by all means nifty um that but if it's actually something like that lore wise um is a thing then that's bloody amazing um and it's a really nice variant on the autobot logo like it's a lot more rougher and tumbler rougher and tumbler Yeesh, that sounds like a bad website <laughs> It looks a lot more menacing, but also still having that, that original Autobot feel to it, you know? It's kind of like the uh, the Dinobot logo from um, uh, the Transformers uh, Fall of Cybertron video game. Now that I think about it, actually. Theirs was just a little bit more electrified because they're weird like that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, so the, um, you know, it's, it's just a piece of cardboard and then you... Flip all the sides down, and then I think for one of the one of the next sets uh, are the two uh, the two sides of the hammer, and then you have the base and the handle for it. So that'd be really cool to have, just kind of uh, right on your shelf. And quite honestly, until every like I'll be keeping uh, the hammer like this until probably the final episode where we get the uh, the Springer. Um, but yeah, um, so that is it for this video, guys. Um, a, I'd like to thank everybody who is watching, and uh, I got some great news. We're now at 14 subscribers. Like, that, that may not sound like a lot, but to me, I was expecting to only get, like, 10 subscribers this year. And we're now at 14. I would love it. If we could make by the end of the month, get up to 20. If like, and I'm maybe shooting for the stars here. So please forgive me. But if we can make it to either 20 or Jesus Christ, 30, like if, if we got to 30 by the end of the month, cause I know we just started August, but if we could possibly get like 20 is the baseline, anything above 20 is like, um, going above and beyond, like, for what, uh, the people did for the, uh, the Star Saber, um, HasLab Star Saber, like, going beyond that set amount would be bloody amazing, and I would love it, but only do it if you're like, hey, this guy is kind of cool, I'd like to see some more, um, again, I'm not trying to force anybody to subscribe, Just subscribe if you want, and my goal to hit by the end of the month is 20. Year's end, I'd like to maybe shoot for maybe 29, 30. Like, again, small goals because 
this is a small channel, but I just, I would love it. And I would be so grateful if I could get up to 30 by the end of the year. So again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, night, whenever you're watching this. And remember, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, to wreck and rule. And in the face.